Hey friends, this will be my last stream for a little while. Going away for a week, I will be away from PS4. Horizon Zero Dawn is calling. All right, we can figure out what happened with Aaron's sister. Too bad. I left Bluey 5 down here, and then I couldn't find him again, so I wonder what happened. I'm going to take a quick peek around, but if he's not around, I'm just going to fast travel to Meridian and keep the story going. Feature. Whoa. <laughs> nope. Looks like Bluey is gone. It's a real shame. Bluey 5, at least, did not die in service to me. So, small victory. Drew, welcome back. So yeah, like I said, I was, uh, I'm going to travel for a little bit, safely. But I'll be away from my PlayStation for like a whole week. I love this game. Can we believe it's been 30 hours of this game? I did the math. We're going into hour 30, like, right now. Crazy. I can easily see how it would be like an 80-hour completion game. There's so much to do. There's so much to understand about how the machines work. I'm not even talking about plot-wise, although it's a great backstory, which... You know, if you look at the, the data pads I've collected, there's like five collected out of 36. <laughs> it's like, wow, there's a lot to this game. And even the main story missions that I'm doing you know, few and far between are one small portion of the entire understanding that we have. Although I like that there's a guy talking to me. Last night, not even on a mission, the Lance Reddick character, who has not identified himself, spoke to me about Elizabeth. And Aloy was like, what kind of a name is that? <laughs> but she was referring more to the fact that Elizabeth has a first name and a last name. It was a Swarinson or something. Uh, okay. Mystery boxes. 
it's these specialty merchants all seem to have something very interesting about them. I'll do that after the, uh, I'll check that out after the main event. Well, I think too, it's the small stuff that helps you level up. Like I'm at level 31 and I got to Meridian yesterday. Like you can get to Meridian. At, one of the missions when I first took on was like level 12. I'm like, great, but this is in the middle of like a desert of corruption and snap maws and shit are like the, the robots, the machines near here. And I'm like, I would not have been poised to like handle them. This is interesting reading material. So yeah, the scanned glyphs. Uh, there's 6, 12, 18 of those. Like, and tons. These are all the ones. I've collected four of those. Quests, world, data points. Just unbelievable. Where are all of them? Wait, where do they come from? Look at this place. No one goes into the palace without an invitation. Are you the same jerk that I... Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Ha! Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Where we should be, without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. <laughs> this is like the scene in Marine where Daenerys is having to deal with like Hi, your dragon killed my goat. Uh, could I be paid for this, your worship? And it also killed my dad, and she's like, mm, yeah, can't do anything about that, sorry. Ignore them. Nobles are like children and wine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Yeah, hunted down Olin for sure. That was a heck of a thing at the dig site. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. Mm. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. It's important that Aloy the Sun the King be in the sun. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. What if we she quit? only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseron had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseron. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. You have my buy-in. Because you're Errant, Marat, very polite. Let me discuss it with her privately. Aw, oh, shit. He understands tact. This guy better not die. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? All of it. It's not too far off. 
Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. <laughs> you don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? Ooh. It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... Very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Not anymore. <laughs> like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. For those just joining, we are going to so find see, Ursa. I need her back at my side. And rescue her. And quickly. Also, she's the captain of the uh, Kingsguard, so she's pretty cool. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. Got some real Mad King vibes here. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. Purification by fire. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaram. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Oh. So it seems like, uh, you know, Durval's got a thing to prove. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly, he made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. Okay. I need to get going. Time to go. I know. Well... They say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Ah, yeah. Go to Pitchcliff. Thing is, I already think I fixed Pitchcliff. So, I thought Ursa was dead. And I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. <laughs> or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. 
But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Ooh. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja. Not long story short, he's a grazer licking dunbag. Alright. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. Oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on. <laughs> I'd better go. Skinny for her. Don't stand me up and pick. All right. Aloy. It's obvious that you're an advisor to the sun. Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. Oh, I he's like Varys. As... You were right about a. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Ooh. Well, he I is served Varys. him to his enemies. What did you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. How many Osram are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? More than one? Not likely. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be... Alright. I have to go. Then you must. Pitchcliff is ha 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 ha. Pitchcliff is in fact the place where I went to before getting into Meridian, so I'm already familiar. They actually had to be defended against um, the Glint Hawks, and I already did that, so I'm further along for having done some exploring further along in this quest than I otherwise would have been. Uh, already. So that's kind of neat. Also, one thing, Drew, is that you have quite a few days to catch up if you're worried about being behind. Pitchcliff. Looks a lot differently in day and when glint hawks aren't uh, descending upon it. This must be Pitchcliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Guy, he's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Ah, but first, let me buy some potions. Someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Ah. 
Oh no! Has to be Murat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. <laughs> right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. <laughs> that might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Well, this is nuts because uh, this was the town that was it was under siege by the uh, Glint Hawks. So much for being careful. And then there was a device that was hidden behind this uh, cabin that was causing the Glint Hawks to come. And then you kind of deactivated the uh, device and. Uh, that saved it, but there was a similar device all the way over here. Nope, where was I? There was a similar device up there um, in the mountains, so it's nice to know we're in territory that uh, has to do with reusing old technology. They keep that one chained up and angry. Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right, we've got your back. between chains
Unleash the machines. Shoot their chains. What, they're telling me to... I thought I was gonna... I thought they were gonna attack them. Other people, like NPCs, are using freeze attacks, which is very useful. Shit. You're not gonna see it coming.
I thought I would be able to free the machines and let them work to kill the bad guys, but when I got close to the bad guys, they said, oh, let loose the machines. Durval says you gotta eat dirt. If Durval says it. She doesn't even know what to do with this. Yeah, what what even, right? Introduced. See what happens when you pick a fight with the Vanguard. Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. Concussive earplugs. Love it. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. Okay. Did 
Disable the sonic barrier. Durval try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, the Sun King's really interested in you. You should Now you listen. Know. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. Oh. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Oh. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Wow. Aaron, I'm... I'm so sorry. That was not the time, Aloy. You gotta find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll... Uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. This machine's been picked apart with precision. What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? Such a strange device. It's beautifully crafted. Metal pins on a revolving cil cylinder, huh? What happens when I turn it on? What do you do with the drunken? I think I've got it working. There. <laughs> now, say something. Both of you doves. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Classic. Whatever you want. <laughs> I, I just want to hear your voice and keep it for later. I'll this sing, is like... Papa. La 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 uh... la. <laughs> this is like the tape recording or the videotape in is it Minority Report with Tom Cruise it's like wife and child there, happy a song and a laugh even better than words and now I can hear them whenever I want oh. we're done then off to bed with you good night mama good night papa 
Is she gone? What are we going to do? Reeds are getting closer and closer to Main Spring. How much longer can we hide like this? A keepsake from his family. Durval's got nothing left to lose. Yep. Just notes about crafting. Freeze cell, shock to oil. We lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find her vault too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long. But I need to tend to my sister. Don't they have... Can't you bury her in the... Bury her in the capital, not this foreign land. The sun shall fall. Now we're going to pursue Aloy's past a little bit. These guys aren't hostile to me. Going down fast. Okay, where are the ruins? All the way over here, huh?
These ruins, corrupted zone, ton of things, pretty fascinating. What the hell is that? So intense. And this quest said level 14. Triggering that canister with the freeze arrow. Lifting attacks. Power cell.
two ancient toothpicks. Yeah, this is useful. Alright. Uh, quests. Maker's Island. There we go. So... Loot the equipment stash. Oh, got it. It will show up on her thing. Okay. Alright, well, figure out what this is then. said it would be shock coil rope caster blaze wire selection all right it's time to finally change my outfit what do i have I have 12 resist free. This is worth nothing. All right. Man, part of what, part of having, uh, you know, good weapons, part of having good modifications is I don't want to put good modifications on bad weapons. I get it, like, I can remove them if I have the tinker skill, but it's just a damn shame. Um, so, right now, I'm using the hunter bow with fire and regular arrows. The sling can be equipped, the war bow can be equipped. Alright. The war bow... Which has freeze and shock arrows. That's an amazing set of coils. That's in, that's impressive. It's a low damage weapon, <laughs> but it has given me some vague damage. I don't know. Okay, sharp shot bow. This has tear and uh, precision arrows. 
I knew that precision wasn't going to do anything, so I added more tear. That's a good mod. Hunter has better handling. This also has the same type of arrows. Additional stopping power. So this mighty bow has the same ammo uh, as my other bow, but less damage because of this, so damage coil. Fire coil. So the big difference between these two is the additional fire damage. So Mighty Bow, so I'm going to actually equip the Mighty Bow. It's a better bow. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! <sighs> Damn him. <laughs> All right. will reach you wherever you
pouches can I make? Oh, Rattler, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Need a raccoon skin for that. A fox skin for this. in that hole. Bluey! thrilled about that.
spotted. Great. <laughs> Go Bluey! There's no reason why you shouldn't be part of this fight. Uh, corruption damage. Bluey! Oh wait, you're mine? You're not mine? Well, that was the first Bluey I had to actively murder. Don't know how I feel about that.
Thanks, dude. All right. I give up. Watcher. There's like some stuff here. Cultist, sniper, deceased. I don't know what was in that hole. be a campfire in here. Wow. Tough, but I'm used to it. Do I even ask? Intel are they acting on that they should blow there? Campfire, hope it saves me. <laughs> Holy crap! down.
Time to reach level 32, I'll tell you. Deathbringer. Or what was it? Deathbringer. Yep. Okay. Repeater cannon. Eclipse officer out of focus. Let's see what's on it. Tear coil, freeze coil, crystal braiding, metal vessel. Let's see what you have to say. What the hell? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Uh. Wow. The entity. What the hell was that? Hades? Hey! M mysterious stranger, did you see that? 
No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. How about this big giant hole? But I can squeeze through. Better find a power cell. Really want that other suit. Hold for identity scan. This one better not be corrupt. Or brush it off as like a bad case a minute. Yep. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. That's so cool. Dr. Sobek. Hundred and fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Okay, I just did the math. Three hundred fifty-five thousand and five hundred ten days divided by three hundred sixty-five days a year is nine hundred seventy-four years. Oh, I love it. Okay, now we have a timeline. This is roughly twenty-one sixty-three, twenty-one sixty-nine. Actually, it's the year that Star Trek Enterprise, uh, D, and Captain Picard and all them are exploring the Alpha Quadrant. This is TNG era stuff. I love this game even more. Okay, I need to find a power cell. Don't let me leave without finding a power cell. <laughs> Still a better year than 2020, Drew says. <laughs> you guys remember telephones? Give me a power circuit thing. Ah. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Quartz standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad.
Yay. Yeah. That's the ground. I'm on the hunt for a power cell. Give me a power cell. It's a little weird that you can find chill water and ridge wood in the supply crates in the bunker, seeing as how nobody would have been admitted if they weren't part of this uh, original project. You know, nobody nobody gets through the system, so it doesn't make sense that there would be any contemporary items in any of the storage uh, supply crates. I would actually err on the side of not having any supply crates versus putting supply crates here that have contemporary items that I you could just find outside right now. So that's a bit interesting. Also, I really want a power converter. <laughs> Give me a power cell! I need it! A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. <laughs> so they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over... Agriculture. What was this place? What were they doing here? Ah, uh, Elizabeth Sorbeck, born March 11, 2020. Just before the lockdown. An American scientist who brought us a senior widely reported as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford at age 13, earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at 16. Completed her DH PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon in 2040 and joined Ferro Automated Solutions as junior scientist the same year. Chief Scientist by 22. Over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in revitalizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. She wanted to clean up the earth. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Nice. It was a corporation. 
separation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. You want to tell me more? Power cell. Power cell. Surely these TVs are all powered by something. This must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. Yeah. We will be exploiting a massive... Uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? That's Reddick's already been through this whole facility. Maybe he has a power coil. Oh, look, stairs. Some things never change. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. how cool that entrance was. I don't think it was an entirely necessary room. If that is your real name.
could get through. I actually jumped. I don't know if the camera caught it, but that was a real jump. Oh, look. Looks like I can climb here. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. It's good to know. Oh, this is where I was last time. Or earlier. Love how everything you can climb is yellow. Whoop. Can't do too much of that. FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. What? Not anymore? The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations, or control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. <laughs> Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? The AC 
ACA-3 SCARAB combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the SCARAB's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. <laughs> or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. There we go. Now that's force multiplication. Corruptor. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. Ah. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Now, I remember the Corruptor and I remember the Deathbringer, but I don't remember the other one, or rather, seeing the other one, uh, the bird, the warbird, has not yet uh, descended upon us here at this facility. Interesting that those three should be called out. And we've seen two of them here. All right. Great. Spiritualism. Where is my power supply? No space. Ugh. What can I do? Health potion. Oh, wait. There you go. Protests and terrorists. Somebody radicalized the consumer base. So people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Lance? You want to tell me what? Boardroom. Neat. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. That's the spirit. I can go all the way up. Okay, I won't. Forget the cold. 
cold. Think of the sun on your skin. Oh wait, which way is the right way? Literally the same place. Alright, well that was cool. This that began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but that guy takes too many pauses. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand and coax, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Yeah, Aloy, you grasp uh, 21st century human humor. Congratulations. Be a power coupler! Be a power cell. Come to this whole building without a way to plug in. Ted Pharaoh's office. Let me guess, guy uh, commits suicide. sober and on the bar. Sounds like they hit a global catastrophe brought upon by corporate greed. 
and man playing God, you know, all the usual good stuff. What I like about this is the higher you go, you're like working for the truth. You know, that's real cool. Kidding me. Well, they got a cool color scheme. Prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Uh, robots are carrying out stuff that robots do that we program them to do, maybe not directly but indirectly. This looks like the kind of stuff that. This looks like it takes a power core. Boardroom. That's kind of neat. <sighs> a way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. Not every day you figure out why the world ended that it could have been prevented. I'm queen of the world! Full already. No, Drew, that's what I'm talking about. Why I keep saying power cell, cry power cell. The, uh, the special armor that I'm looking for requires an additional power cell to open it. I believe I got one of the power cells from the opening video when she was a kid or at some point during the um, you know game in the first couple hours but the second power cell whatever the power cell is I don't have it. I think it said it was a quest item or something like that when it was in my inventory. I um Yeah, so that's why I, I keep complaining about a power cell. Around. There are things in the focus that it calls the power cell, but in fact is like a uh, sparker canister that you pull from items. So those are not going to work. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purged data? Yes. Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Twenty sixty four. Elizabeth, good to uh it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all eighteen lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms us. 
All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So, spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data, then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. Huh. But they hated each other. Hmm. Another has been recovered. <laughs> Keep them coming, AI. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. <laughs> that consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. <laughs> you, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. Wow. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, uh. I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Aloy. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. Yeah. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Oh, right. A final fellow has been recovered. Thank you, Siri, Alexa. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. Wow. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. <laughs> I have an express elevator. But wait, I can climb that whole thing. Why wouldn't I do that? Also, I'm not leaving here without my frickin' power cell.
Small victories, Drew. <sighs> Another power cell. This should help me get that ancient armor. Well, that's not very realistic. What's a power cell that I need to be doing at the top of the building? I almost left without it. Drew, were you watching that? <laughs> I, I thought it was a joke. I thought I would get a vantage point or something out of this. There's just a power cell that I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Well. Add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Yes. Silence. That's my name. Um. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. What is Zero Dawn? <sighs> All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? There you go. Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. <laughs> she has all of these. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. There must still be a satellite. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. 
In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipses' focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Amazing. Very well. Proceed. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal. I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. Oh. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, Maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists, as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. Mm. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. <laughs> Oh my god, how well, cool is getting that? Getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here at least. Great. US Robot Great. Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn.
At least the chill's gonna keep me alert. I can't believe there was actually a power cell here and it wasn't just stashed away. It was at the top of a freaking piece of rock. <laughs> a bit. Just wow. such a good thing to end on that I think, even though I don't want to end and I'm not going to right away, I will settle for using my newly supplied power cell. Where in the hell? So it's like right around... Is that day tower? Campfire. Mother's crown. There we go. Wait, no, that's advantage. I'm trying to remember. Back in Mother's cradle. There it is. Bunker. Can't fast travel. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Locking up. Oh 
Oh shit. Twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, twenty one hundred, zero zero. Ultra weave. Fast, cheap, and good. Power cells. That should do it. Gather power cells. Oh, come on. Three more. These numbers. They must be related to segments of a circle. Seventy three sixty. Yeah, easy enough to figure out, but then I need three more power cells. <sighs> I was so excited about this armor. Can I just take out this power cell? Nope. turn.
Maybe not the best advertising campaign of a suit to be like, Hey, you wanted something cheap and easy? And then guarded behind five power cells. Nuts. Alright. Man, I am going to miss this game on my time off. But that's what we're looking at. Slowly say goodbye to everything and see it in a week. Ah. Thanks for watching.